Do you have a poor sense of rhythm? Do you feel self-conscious and not very comfortable when you're dancing? Maybe you're even a musician or a dancer and it feels like the rhythm part doesn't really fit in properly, like you don't really get it and you're a little bit self-conscious when you're around other musicians or dancers. If the answer to any of these questions is yes, then you're in the right place. My name's James, I've been playing drums for about 11 years now and when I started, I had a very below average sense of rhythm. I couldn't really dance and feel comfortable dancing unless I'd had a few alcoholic beverages. And as a musician, when I was drumming in bands, many days I'd feel like it wasn't really clicking and I wasn't fully getting into the rhythm and I was overthinking it and trying to get in the rhythm and it just didn't work. And then along the way, by accident, bumped into what I now know is the secret to having a stable sense of rhythm. And I'm gonna share that with you today in this video. Have you ever heard this? Some people just don't have rhythm. <laughs> bullshit. I call bullshit on that phrase because it's not true. Because everyone who has a body has access to rhythm. And that's the secret that I'm gonna share with you today. Sounds simple, but let's go a little bit deeper. Your body. Ever since the moment you were born, your body has been beating that heart. You've been breathing in and out. Both of these are very rhythmic. And your body's been doing that without you even having to apply any effort. It just happens automatically because that's what the body does. It can create this rhythm. Not only that, when you learn to walk, think about when you walk or watch someone else walking. When you walk, you're just taking nice, consistent steps. Doesn't matter if you're walking fast or slow, it's consistent. You don't walk fast and then walk slow and then walk fast and then walk slow. That would be very weird. If people were walking with you, they'd be like, um, can you walk ahead? I'll just walk back here and, and we'll, we'll meet at the place. <laughs> Luckily, our body knows how to do it. We don't have to orchestrate each individual movement. So then how can some people access this rhythmic facility in the body and some people can't? A lot of it is luck, dependent on your upbringing or just luck of the draw. I think a lot of it is to do with our culture. So think about when you went to school. The way we learn to interact with the world is through our mind. We take in information, we learn. We learn how to use that information ourselves and display that we understand the concepts. We then go along using our mind, moving towards a goal of a career or a diplomacy or some kind of achievement. And our mind plans and strategizes as we move towards this goal. But the body doesn't really get a lot of attention. The body is just seen as a slave to the mind. The mind wants to go over here, the body will facilitate it as a slave. It's never really given the spotlight as a place we can put our attention and follow its lead. Now, don't get me wrong. The mind is an amazing tool. It's incredible. It's great at planning and strategizing and conceptualizing things. The problem with the mind is the mind can't really do anything immediately. So what can? Your body. Your body has this instinctive, intelligence that can immediately move. Let's have an example. Think of yourself as a caveman. You're a caveman, you're walking around, you see a tiger. Your mind goes, whoa, animal, got stripes and it's orange, tiger. What do I know about tigers? Ah, a tiger killed my brother 10 years ago. This tiger might kill me. Okay, what can I do? That's not really how it works, is it? The tiger comes at you, if you start thinking about all that stuff, the tiger will have you. And then in two hours time, you're gonna be a big pile of tiger shit. So instead what happens is, the body sees danger and moves immediately. It moves to either kill or run away. The mind needs time for an idea to settle and to really get its teeth into something. So out of the two things that we've described, the body and the mind, which one do you think is best suited for taking the lead when it comes to dancing and feeling rhythm? It's the body. So without further ado, let's drop into the body. So we're about to try an exercise that's gonna help you drop into your body. But before we start, you need to make sure that you're not in a place where you're gonna be distracted very easily. So no one's gonna come and try and talk to you. You're not gonna be getting any messages. You need your full attention for about eight minutes. Once you're happy with your environment, make sure you click this link and we'll go straight into exercise one where we drop in. The mind needs time to figure stuff out and to sit and to sit and to have and to bat it's a bat it's a bit 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 it's a bit